Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. This one's ready for work. It's got about five minutes. It's just sitting down to drink a coffee. We're super organised this morning. I'm about to get my laptop out. I'm about to start work. Let's get started with this day and I'll catch you later. My goodness me. That is a beauty. Just look at that rainbow. Well, good afternoon. I worked this morning. I was a busy bee. I was. I was cracking through jobs like you wouldn't believe. And it didn't stop there. Once I finished working, I've spoken to Harry. I've spoken to my mum. I've done two loads of washing. Last night's tea was a disaster. I didn't like it. Anyway, this is what we're going to have tonight. The reason I'm rushing, I've got an appointment at three o'clock gonna have my eyebrows done oh yes time to give my face a little bit of love i feel last time i had my eyebrows done before christmas yeah you're gonna have to get the shears out shears i need to go to the post office and pick up the book that i'm gonna read for the book club that is at the beginning of may so i've got a couple of weeks to crack through that and I might get myself a coffee while I'm down in the town just to just to sit down and take a moment. But anyway, I can't do that now. I'm rushing. Come on, let's go. Oh, saying that though, I'd said to myself I'm going to have a slow walk down because my knee, which has been hurting for ages, has stopped hurting. And I'm pretty sure that walking is what's causing it. So anyway... We'll take a slowish walk down. Come on, let's get on with the afternoon. The weather's nowhere near as bad as it was yesterday, but still quite breezy. So I stayed in town. I went to the pub with my book while I waited for Glenn. I thought, rather than pay a taxi if I to get home, I'd rather wait for Glenn. So I'm just waiting for him to finish work and then I'll get a lift. Mr. Warner gave me a lift home, which was brilliant. Let me show you some of the stuff I got in town. So I went to the butchers and bought some mints. I went to the greengrocers and bought some bits for dinner. So I'm supporting local, that's what I've been doing. Obviously, I've been sitting reading my book for the last hour while I waited for Mr. Warner, but also what I brought for the letters that are going out this month, I bought these gorgeous note cards. I'm really pleased with those. So that's it. That's me shopping. Done for today. Well, Mr. Warner had a good day at work. He's been practising his knots. Yes, he has. He's like a proper sailor oh, now. He's been out on the high seas. He's been out on the high seas. They went to the fish and chip shop. I'm not in the fish and chip shop. <laughs> oh, no, they, they, they did other stuff. They went patrolling. Yeah. Anyway, that was good. And Glenn didn't feel too sick, which is amazing. So I'm going to make this for dinner. Let's get this going on. What I like about this recipe, finally getting to use some of that Chinese five spice. It looks like a beautiful sunset this evening, Mr. Warner. God. It's half past seven. Look how light it is. We're going to watch our favourite programme, Saving Lives at Sea. Well, it's my favourite programme. Glenn's favourite programme is something to do with gold mining. But anyway, dinner's ready. You know I'm on a mission to improve my sleep. Oh, I'm doing it all. Obviously, I've got my mouth strips. I've been taking magnesium. Yes, I have. That's supposed to be good. I was listening to a podcast today and it said that one of the best things for women over 45, I'll fall into that, is to not eat late. I mean, I've failed at that one. I have failed at that but it said to go for a walk after you've eaten because it lowers the cortisol which is what keeps you awake at night so yeah i'm doing that so i've just said glenn pause the tv i'm going for a stroll the last bit of light beautiful evening a bit chilly though on the other side of the site it's amazing how busy it is how many cars it's much quieter i think over on our side well that didn't take long a quick trip around the campsite i think i might include that as my daily routine i've done a bit of walking today obviously i walked down into town and i've just done that on fingers crossed that doesn't hurt my knee because at the moment 
not hurting. So I'm going to sit down, finish watching Saving Lives at Sea. Oh yeah, one of the other things. I'm not looking at my phone. I'm not looking at the blue light on my phone. I'm taking this getting sleep seriously, you know. I'll see you in the morning and I'll let you know how all these things worked out for me.